Hello everyone, this is Donald the Repentless with another episode of Life of an Inventory Auditor. The topic I'm going to talk to you about today is retro shirts. Um, now there were shirts that were used before I started. There's the ones that were used at the beginning when I started and then there's the polos that they use today. Now, um, there are pictures out there of people wearing the older shirts with the um, sort of molecule shape, you know, molecule designed RGIS logo where it's you know, RGIS in the middle and these like satellites going around it. And that's a cool, cool logo uh, actually. And sometimes if you look on eBay, you'll find those retro um, logos patches available on the, on eBay but I'm talking I'm going to talk about the shirt I'm wearing right now now the first question you may ask yourself is exactly why are you wearing this shirt well it's clean first off and yes I have other shirts I could have put on but this shirt is very comfortable I like it um, I liked it when I was wearing it um, I, I still prefer this shirt over the polos that have been used since the late 90s I would say it is and just to give you a, a, a quick look at this shirt I'm gonna lower this camera real quick now you'll notice one thing it's blue um, they now go with the you know it's burgundy and the and the gray shirts burgundy for the regular employees gray shirts for the team leaders but this was the logo they used then um, you know, nice blue and silver patch um, with, you know, the same, I think it's the same font as they use today for the Regis. And, you know, and they also have this little neat pocket so you can keep your, your pins and stuff in. Um, I don't mind the, the polos. I, I, you know, they're fairly comfortable. They're not as comfortable as this shirt. But because this was you know phased out as it were they you know and you can't wear this if you go into a store you know I've asked and I got no no you can't do that <laughs> you know you also might be asking yourself how do you still have that shirt after 20 years well it's rather simple when they transitioned from the these shirts to the polos um, we were never I don't think I was asked to return this shirt um, because at that point they really didn't care about what happened to them. I mean, more than likely, they, most of these shirts ended up in landfill somewhere or were cut up for um, other things. But um, this is still my favorite Regis shirt. And, you know, I kind of wish, i seen one team leader who had a gray shirt like this and he was still able to wear that shirt, I wish they would have that that kind of option like that where you would have the opportunity to buy a, a, you know, like a shirt like this in maroon and you know something of this quality because this is a very high quality shirt the shirts that they, you know, like I said, most of the history of this company the shirts they used for their employees was high quality product even in terms of the equipment used to count the inventory. Um, before there was, <clears throat> excuse me, the microcomputers, they used the, the best quality calculators that they could get their hands on to provide the best, you know, inventory that they can possibly give. Um, I'm starting to make a, a script, for, a, a, for example, for the um, profile of RGIS. LLC. Um, it is like I said, it's going to be based on what I can find online, like the website and Wikipedia and so forth. It's going to, all going to be public information, except for the personal recollections of my early days with Regis. But back to the shirts. I'm not sure where I was going with that, but um, yeah, this is my favorite shirt. This is a shirt I remember most fondly. Um, you know, but times change. They always do. 
and we just went with the um, the uh, the you know the polos. Although it's funny, if you look online, excuse me, if you look on like YouTube, you'll have like um, Regis videos that are in French that show people in Europe, and they have instead of having the polos, they have. They wore a regular shirt and then this vest on top of that. Which is a, it's a concept, it's an interesting concept. Um, I, I remember that I did wear a, a vest with Wiss. Uh, and they've gone to polos. I mean, most of the, the companies in America have gone to polo shirts for their companies. But it's interesting that in Europe, for example, they still have the vest. And the vest looks fairly comfortable. And, you know, it's like, why can't we have something like that? Something where we can wear like a regular shirt underneath and then this vest to identify ourselves as employees of Regis. You know, um, but like I said, that might just be my take on things. That might be just my unusual preferences. But anyways, um, that's about all I have to say. So I'm going to wrap this up by saying, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for more Life of an Inventory Auditor. This is Donald the Repentless signing off. Thank you very much for watching.